Welcome to Robot Studio Tutorials. Today you will learn about how to use Collision Geometry Detail Level for collision-free path planning. Here in this station, we will take this frame as an example. Right-click on the frame to bring up the context menu. Under Path Planning, you can see the option for Collision Geometry Detail Level. You have several options like Low, Medium, High and Custom. If you select low, this will create a collision geometry with a single convex hull encapsulating the entire object. You can click on show collision geometries to visualize this. This collision geometry is generated fast, but it lacks the details. If you select medium, you can see that our object is encapsulated within more number of convex holes, but it still lacks the details of the frame. If you select high, you can see that the collision geometry detail is better than medium with more convex holes. It can be difficult to get the right level of collision details in some parts. To further improve the collision geometry detail, let's select custom. From this window, you can refine the settings to adjust the collision geometry details. You can now visualize the selected object in the 3D window. With custom, you can refine the settings, like number of convex holes and resolution. Convex holes represent the convex polygon that encapsulates the selected object, creating the collision geometry. And resolution represents the accuracy of the generated collision geometry. For example, if you select the number of convex holes as 1, and click on preview, you can see that our object is enclosed in one single convex hull. Let's now increase the number of convex holes to 2. You can see that our object is enclosed within 2 convex holes. If you increase the number of convex holes to 3, you can see that our object is enclosed within 3 convex holes. This generated collision geometry lacks the details of the frame. If you increase the number of convex holes, it enhances the geometric details. For this frame, 12 convex holes have provided a perfect collision geometry detail, better than what we achieved before, by selecting high as the collision geometry detail level. Now let's see resolution. Higher resolution improves accuracy. If you increase the resolution and preview it, you can see that the space surrounding the object becomes tighter. You can further increase this to a higher resolution and get as good representation as possible. Increasing the resolution will slow down the generation of the collision geometries. Increasing the number of convex holes can slow down the generation of the collision-free path. Make sure that you use the settings that strikes a good balance. You can see that the accuracy of our generated collision geometry has increased significantly by increasing the resolution. Once you have selected the desired settings of convex holes and resolution, you can click on OK. You can see that the collision geometries have been successfully generated for our object. It has now become very easy to select the object and create its custom collision geometry details. You can also go back and refine the settings for the selected object. Robot Studio remembers the settings, which you selected last for the object. You can also select multiple objects in the station and create custom collision geometry details. For further reference, please read the help documentation. Thank you for your time.